Morning. Back to the bees. <laughs> we have to treat them for mites. It's a, kind of a very strange thing to think that a bug could get bugs, but they get these little parasites that uh, will kill the brood and your hive will die if you don't do it. And this is the worst, nastiest smelling stuff you ever saw. It was, it's got a real heavy uh, chemical smell. It's formic acid is what it is, I guess. Uh, Ants create that and a bunch of other things. I don't know about the bees themselves, but it's it, it's a strange deal. <laughs> so what you do is you put them in between the the uh, brood chamber on the bottom. So we got to tear these apart and put them on top of this frame and on top of this one or box. I mean. And we found the queen on this frame. Most of the uh, brood is across those ones there. I'm just going to put one in this one because there's not a lot of bees in there. They will eat that paper off of there and try to get rid of that nasty stuff. But that's kind of what you want. It should kill the mites and keep our hive going. feel bad for them to have to smell that. This box is extra tall. We ended up, we got brood in this one, this one, and a little in that one. So we put one of those mite strips right in this, in between these two, and one in between these two. The upper two boxes are honey. Then this screen thing, it's just for ventilation. It's got a screen on top and then vent holes on the side. I like that because you can take this off and look at them and don't need smoke or anything, they really can't get out of there. But uh, in the winter time, I'll fill this full of insulation and that gives them a pretty good insulation on the top. Wrap the hive with um, black tar paper and button them up for the winter. Reduce it down as much as we can, get rid of the honey boxes and leave them some, but get rid of most of it. We have not noticed any uh, varroa mites on our bees. There are different ways you can test to see if they have them or not. Uh, one of the ways is to put them in a cup of powdered sugar and shake them good. And a lot of times the, uh, the mites will fall off into the sugar and then you can count them. And there's different ways you can test and see, but so far we've never seen any. But uh, I'm sure they probably got some. So, <laughs> are you feeling crawly and creepy yet? Nasty little bee ticks, basically, is what they are. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.